Okay, we just received in the new Honda EU7000, the fuel ejected, the one that took place of the 6500 series, the EU65. And today we're going to show you how much oil you need to put in there. That way you ain't guessing, speculating, or whatever on how many ounces of oil. So that's what we're going to do now. a flat screwdriver, open the cabinet up, we're going to see exactly, I'm going to do a measurement, exact oil, and the oil they recommend for the 7,000, you want to use 1030, and you know the fall, summer temperatures, and then you want to go to 5W30 when you're in the cold winter, cold climates, that way if your oil gets thickened up, you want to do the 530, thin it down in cold weather. So we're going to get started in. We're going to put oil in this. We just have got it in about an hour ago. All right, we just put in, it took exactly one quart of oil for the 7000 series. So one quart of oil, we'll uh, fill it exactly to the full level. And we get ready to start this generator for the first time. And I'm going to show you how quiet it is. So we're going to shut everything back up, the cabinet. If you look at it, it's sealed up real tight. That, that's the reason this thing is so quiet. It's got a good seal on it. Okay, we're getting ready to fire up the 7000. I just got the oil in it. It held one quart of oil. Exactly, took one quart exactly if it's empty. That's what you want to use. Now, we're looking at the front cover here. You can also select if you want 120 or 240. And if you got a 50 amp camper with two ACs, uh, the 15 Ks, it'll run the 15 K and the 13 five both. This thing's gonna do the whole unit. So I will show you a little bit more about this adapter that we got on the 50 amp. Right now, let's get it started. Let's see how quiet it is. So all you wanna do is just turn the key on and it's got the push button starts to the key. So we're gonna start it up. <laughs> Right there, I've got the echo throttle on right now. We're going to turn it off where it's wide open and see how it... That's quiet. That's real quiet. Come here, Big Richard. Let me show you right here. We're going to go ahead and turn it down. I've got Richard here with me today with RV Parts Country. Richard, I want to show her this. We've got Teresa here filming. We're going to take this bottle of water. You got this thing on back, you camper. You know, a lot of generators sit vibrating. Let's take this bottle of water, and we've got it on the echo throttle. No movement. Ain't that something? Now, let's turn it wide open, which, you know, you're going to get a little bit of vibration, but it's just see what it does. Look at the bottle of water. It's wide open right there. between the movement and the throttle on and the throttle off. That's not the vibration is the same. Okay, we're going to turn it off. You do have the fuel injection on this 7000. And you see how quick that thing started up for the first time. Richard, tell them a little bit about the panel here. I'll let you talk about it with the 50 amp services and all that. Then we'll come back. With the panel on this one, You've got a little bit of a nice, nice play here. It's the parallel operational outlets. Uh, coming this winter, you'll be able to hook two of these together. It's going to give you 14,000 watts. So you, maybe you and your buddies got a camper, you can hook up power two campers at the same time with it. Uh, over here, you're going to have your circuit protectors. If they're pushed on and off. You've got your 30 amp circuit protector. Again, it's on and off. And a few things I want to compare it. This is an upgrade to the EU6500 generator. And it's got a few better specs in it. Uh, one of the thing, you know, you, with the 6500, you can go 14 hours on four and a half gallons of gas. For this one, you can go 18 hours on 5.1 gallon of gas, which is a lot better. It's more fuel efficient. Uh, for another 500 watts, it's only six more pounds, so it's not much in weight for the other 500. So footballs coming up, tailgaters and all that. Get out of the parking lot. 
deer hunting's coming up, all the outdoor, we got good time camping in the fall of the year. This is gonna be the home run. I know I'm putting one in my camper. This is where this one's going. I'm gonna use it, I'm getting ready to do the racing, the NASCAR, and there's no more worrying about tripping breakers. 7,000's gonna take care of that. I'll show you a little bit too, Richard, well, we'll hope sideways with the camera and see it. It's got the locks on here that folds up. So if you got it on concrete or black top, you need to move it around. We'll spin it around here where you can see it. You know, it's very easy to move around and navigate with it. It's got the heavy duty rubber tires. They're solid. You don't have to worry about airing them up. Now, for any of the Honda generators, you need to come to RV Parts Country and see us. We've got the Honda 7000. You can see in the back, we've got the 2000, the EU Series, the 3000. Come and visit us online at rvpartscountry.com. All the parts and accessories. And if you've got, got any issue needing to overnight, you pick the phone up and call us. She'll have it right on the uh, end right here, a phone number that you can get up with us. Call us. We're here from 9 to 5.30. Monday through Friday, and uh, we got these ready to go out the same day. If you don't want to do the overnight, if you get that order in there by 2 o'clock, Richard, you'll you get it out for them that day. Ship it the same day. Same day shipping. So hopefully I'll help you about the, the new uh, EU 7000 IS. And I'm going to let Richard, before we end the video, you talk a little bit about the hours that it'll run on the fuel and a little bit about that. All right. Well, this one here is going to run 18 hours, and that's a quarter of load on 5.1 gallon. Now, one thing this does have is the eye monitor, which is your gauge down here. Uh, it does a few different things. It's going to track how many hours you use the generator, your RPM, the battery volts, and your wattage. Uh, another little thing about it, you know, it's got the overload alarm, your output indicator. That's uh, just overall good generator. This is the best in its class for an RV generator. This is what you want to buy. Power everything. So give us a call. Visit us online at rvpartscountry.com. We'd love to have your business. So call us anytime. We'll take good care of you all. Thank you for your time.